sing his song. Be the sweet like sugar. Oh, yeah, dance, roll your way. I go from grace to grassy. Back to grass to grassy. Life now roll a coaster. Hi guys, if you're new here, I'm Joycelyn Binui and I'm a content creator based in Douala, Cameroon and I'm also a mom and as you can see, I'm traveling with my family and we are traveling from Douala to Bramenda for my father-in-law's barrier. So I want to take you guys along this journey because there's a lot that we are going to explore and discover. So guys, the main purpose of this travel vlog is to show you guys the new updates on the roadworks going on along the Douala Bamenda Highway and uh, also the estimated travel time by road using a private car from Douala to Bamenda as of October 2023. Yeah. I'm also going to show you guys the general state of the roads from Douala to Bamenda. That's especially before you enter Bamenda. Yeah, I'm going to tell you guys what to expect when traveling by road in Cameroon. Like the common things you see traveling by road. For example, the plantations and the tall gates that you're going to pay some money there. And also you're going to see people selling and yeah and also like the most common activities uh, being practiced by the people along the road uh, side from Douala to Bamenda and also to show you guys the newly constructed road linking Chang to Bunda which is shorter than the old road so I'm also going to show you guys like what to expect on the road and the changes you're going to make uh, uh, traveling along the Douala Bamenda highway that's moving from a francophone zone to an anglophone zone which is currently facing crisis here yeah. and also how to make your journey easier and more convenient traveling along uh, this distance with kids by road guys talking about the estimated travel time we left Douala at exactly 5 a.m in the morning and by 11 a.m we were already in Bamenda town can you imagine that making our journey averagely seven hours so you can imagine even though the state of the roads were not so good and we also considering the fact that we had to take a shortcut that i'm going to show you guys that's from chang to bunda and you guys are going to see the newly constructed road yeah the way i made my journey easier traveling with the kids was because i packed everything that few days before the day that we had to travel and traveling with a baby you know she has to take her milk she needs to eat on the road then all of them like the kids they need to eat on the road and we made sure that we prepared their food in the house before the day we had to travel that's the night before we had to leave very early in the morning we prepared rice for, for my toddlers and i also packed my baby's milk in her in her in the handy bag that we had inside the car i packed her milk her water the water that i was going to be using to be mixing her milk on the road the only difference is that we couldn't give her warm milk because it was not possible to warm the milk so we had to just mix it and give her like that yeah and for the other kids when they were hungry we gave their their food from the containers that we had put them inside and they ate like that and they were fine with their water with their juice and we also travel with some snacks for them to avoid buying food by the roadside especially when it comes to kids because you can eat something by the roadside which has not been well prepared or maybe the hygienic conditions are not good and once you arrive where you're going to you start rushing to the hospital or you start rushing to get medications so it's advisable that whenever you're traveling with kids you make sure you avoid buying food by the roadside make sure you travel with their food so that whenever they are hungry you're going to give them something to eat normally they would 
take tea for breakfast or maybe cereal which which uh, is composed of water and milk that's a liquid and i i knew that if i gave them tea that morning before traveling they were going to be peeing a lot on the road and we're going to be having a lot of stops so i made sure that i did not give them any water to drink that morning i did not give them any liquid so they just ate something solid and yeah it really eased our journey because we were not stopping a, lo a lot on the road hey easy baba i'm not seeing you come this way now why are you keeping your face around me hi mama look look at me hi guys welcome back to the channel if you're here for the first time, I'm Jaisin Bini and I'm a content creator based in Douala, Cameroon. You guys, we are on the road to Bamen. As you can see, we left very early today at 5 a.m. when places were still dark, so I couldn't use this video. In fact, we left the house in a hurry. You know, traveling with kids is not easy. I'm here with all my crew. Yeah, all of us are going to Bamenda and from Bamenda, we're going down to Bafu to the village for my father in law's area. So wish us a safe trip guys. The driver not stop that we should rest a little bit before we continue. Yeah, so come along with us guys. And you guys coming to the common things you're going to see along the Douala Bamenda Highway, you're going to notice that as you're moving from Douala, as you're moving out of Douala, you're going to see a lot of farms. You're going to see farms where some people have planted maize. You're going to see a maize plantation. You're going to see palm trees where the, uh, there's palm tree plantations. You're going to see a banana plantation. You're going to see a plantain plantation. Yeah. You're going to see so many plantations and along this stretch of the road you're going to notice that so many people who live along this roadside that's the towns and villages as you pass from Douala to Bamenda you're going to notice that they do a lot of farming and they do a lot of merchandise that's they sell a lot they do a lot of business business and farming should be the main activity of the people because you notice that you're going to see people coming back from the farm you're going to see people in their farms and you're going to see a lot of people also selling so i think farming and business is the main activity of the people along the douala bamenda highway and for the general state of the roads guys when you leave douala when you're going out of Douala, you start noticing that the road is so bad. Like the road is so bad, you guys. A lot of potholes. I couldn't even film around this place because the camera just kept shaking. And when you move towards Melong, yeah, when you start moving towards Melong, the state of the road there is good from Melong right down to Chang. And then from Chang, from Chang, we took um we took the the newly constructed road that led us to bunda so you guys are going to see the road i'm going to show you guys everything yeah and i hope you guys should enjoy this vlog
Grassy, back to Grassy, Gracie. Life not roller coaster. Ah, when the time no day day, and the plan is doomed to fail, and the heart is due for mending. And the Northwest region of Cameroon is being hit by the Anglophone crisis. That's the Northwest region and the Southwest region of Cameroon. But in this case, we are talking about the Northwest region of Cameroon, where we are moving into Bamenda is the headquarters of the Northwest region of Cameroon. Yeah, so. Is being hit by crisis such that when you're leaving a uh, Douala with a private car, normally you have your number plate written there as Little Ra. Yeah, when you're moving into Bamenda, you cannot move into Bamenda with that Little Ra on your number plate. So you need to switch your number plate and use the chassis. What they use in Bamenda is the chassis number plate because they don't want the Semak. Uh, uh, they don't want to see Semak number plates. They are plates there as I learned. Yeah, so you have to switch from your Semak number plate bearing little ram to the chassis number plate. So at a certain point when we reached, the driver had to switch the number plate before we get into Bamenda town in order to avoid problems from the voices in the bushes. Guys, it's tough to change the, the number plate of the car since we are entering Bamenda. We are changing from Litoral to a chassis number plate in order to avoid problems from the boys. That's already Bamenda from Matazum right to Santa Anakum. You're going to see a lot of people farming Irish potatoes, farming uh, vegetables, yeah, and spices and stuff like that. And you're going to also meet people selling all those things along the road. Yeah, moving into Bamenda, you guys who are going to notice that there is still construction going on. There's construction on the road going on and yeah the road is not so bad at least it has been graded and it is not so bad as compared to the last time i traveled to bamenda the road has been graded and part of it has been fixed but though part of it is still not good but it's better as compared to when i lastly traveled to bamenda so hopefully we pray that with time by early next year the roads should be good but i wonder when they are going to start construction on the road which leads like after you leave Douala, right up to like melon towards melon something like that the road along this stretch is not really good i was so excited on this journey because i knew i was going to meet my parents again i'm going to i was going to meet my parents again after a long time though when i put to bed my mom came for omugwa but it was long since i met since i saw my dad so i was happy that i was going to meet them so i'm going to bring you guys along you guys so you're going to see my parents they live in mancon because of the crisis yeah so we're going to stop there we're going to see them and then from there we're going to move down to Barfoot in order to attend the wake service which was supposed to start on that same day by 3 p.m. <laughs> On the baby's leg boom, but still on her leg. This is my friend the house now. Yeah, yeah. Up 
substation Bamenda, you guys i noticed that at that point you don't really see the impact of the crisis on the road it's when you have started reaching when you have reached finance junction and then you start entering the town proper that can cause you to weep you guys the roads are so bad like the roads in town are so bad i couldn't even film at this point because the camera was really shaking really shaking like the roads are so bad it's really so sad but we thank god for everything because he says in everything we should give thanks and hoping for a better tomorrow and hoping for a final solution and hoping for a solution that is going to bring safety for a solution that is going to bring peace for a solution a long-lasting solution you guys because Bamenda is a home to many people, because Bamenda is a place to be, because Bamenda is where I was born and raised, you guys. It hurts so bad to see that Bamenda is suffering. But I strongly believe that this has only come, that this has only happened to make us stronger than we used to be before. Look at the beautiful view from Bamenda up station during the rest of the city. I really love this view you guys. Bamenda and um, yeah, thank God for Johnny Mercy's. Yeah, my kiddos. How do you feel, Bobo? Thank God for Johnny Mercy's. Not so. This boy was sleeping. This is the sister here still sleeping. Yeah, so we want to go to the tailor and check our clothes. That's uh, the ashwabi for the funeral. Yeah. So hobby is settling settling finances with the driver who brought us he's a very good driver you guys i even forgot i would have showed him and advertised his business with you guys whenever you're in cameroon if you're in the abroad and you come to cameroon and you're looking for a driver just get to me you're looking for a driver and a car just get to me though he used our car he packed his own car and used our car because that was hobby specification yeah because he had to come and give the car to Is you only leave Mr. Gibb every day. Eh? You leave Mr. Gibb every day. Yeah, you still go to go do. I don't feel you know. Ah, okay. Open that and close it with blessing. The baby and kiss his grandpa. The baby and kiss is meeting grandpa for the first time. Yeah. Yeah, have you seen grandma again? Hey, baby, my. Yeah. Hey. Mama. No, come now. Come, come and snap. Come and snap. Let me go and bed and come. My water is in the bag. Hi. Hi, baby, my kids. Are you happy to meet grandpa? Meet grandpa for your first time. <laughs> meet, meet your husband. This is your husband, eh, mama? Hey, baby, man. EJ, come and stand at this snap. Maybe come and stand. Come and stand behind grandpa. EJ, I'll be here. Come and stand behind grandpa. Come and stand behind grandpa. Grandma made special chicken for you. No electricity, the house is dark. The light is essential. Come, 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 Mama. Come, let me feed you, baby. I love you. Where are you? Come, Mama. Class two. Uh, Okay. 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 I owe him a room to my I am again with someone. I can water, but ever So that come and tell me what I will bring down for your graduation. 
Give that one some gum to finish it. Give that man ask food. You want to throw, you want to eat it. You want to eat it, eat it now. I thought I were going to throw it. There's no gift hand. We just be a fan down more. Okay. How can your grandpa be touching? My God. Mungu afani papa wo grandpa ka no o tikan kuni ni la. Eh. Why are you running away from grand grandpa? Engu miss. You're not talking. Man gram to tikan ye mute. Hi. Bring Mankana, stand with Mankana. No, come and give me Mankana. The star of the day. Bring her. Bring her. Take this now. Put down a drink, EJ. Baby, stand now, enter. Yes. Yeah, yeah, the way it toy, I know even you see her face. Get the thing. Bless you, enter now, you're not entering. People should stand us now because. Baby! 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 Yes, I've snapped it. Baby! I've snapped it. Ellie, you're in the panel. You're in the panel. Say bye to Grandpa. Say Grandpa, bye bye. <laughs> yeah, look at somewhere else. Okay, Papa. Love you soon. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay, bye bye. 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 Bye greatest nightmare you see what i've been talking about bad roads in bamenda you guys going down to bafood was the worst the road from bamenda to bafood before used to be cut like from start to finish and the road used to be so good you guys but going down to bafood now is a nightmare as i tell you guys the road is so bad the tar has come out all everywhere it's potholes I remember before I used to leave Agiati to town and I, I was going to spend just like highest 10 to 15 minutes to reach town so you can imagine and there used to be so many people living in Bafut and working in town but right now the way the roads are so bad the state of the road is not good at all so I, it wasn't possible for me to film again a lot so I just had to halt the filming all forever but though he calls grief he will have compassion according to the abundance of the status Lord. for he does not afflict from his heart or grieve the children of men to crush all the foot all the prisoners of the earth to deny a man justice in the presence of the most high to subvert a man in his lawsuit the lord does not approve who has spoken and it came to pass unless the Lord has commanded it. Is it not from the mouth of the Most High that good and bad come? Why should a living man complain, a man about the punishments of his sins? Let us test and examine our ways and return to the Lord. Let us lift up our hearts and hands to God in heaven. May the Lord bless to us the reading of his holy word. Come now. Why not coming? I like the way the streets are lighted. Eh? Mm -hmm.